हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू योर फिजिक्स क्लास ऑफ क्लास सेवेंथ आई होप यू ऑल विल बी फाइन स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टार्टेड लेसन नंबर सेकेंड मोशन ओके एंड इन दैट वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन यू रेस्ट एंड मोशन एंड ऑल्सो हाउ रेस्ट एंड मोशन आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर नाउ टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन ओके different objects have different types of motion for example a train moves straight along its track a fan rotates and the earth revolves around the sun there can be many more such examples and these different kinds of motion can be classified into the following types means every object uh, uh, have different types of motion okay different objects have different types of motion and uh, these are the categories in which we can classify them so first one is translatory motion second rotatory motion third circular motion oscillatory motion vibratory motion periodic motion and non periodic motion so these are the different kinds of motion okay now first one first we will discuss translatory motion if an object like a vehicle moves in a line in such a way that every point of the object moves through the same distance in same time then the motion of the object is called the translatory motion means translatory motion is that type of motion in which a vehicle moves in a line in such a way that every point of that object means every point of that object moves through the same distance in the same time okay so that is known as translatory motion examples of translatory motion when a cycle moves from position 1 to position b as shown in here in figure 2.2 the front wheel a from a to a dash the front wheel of the uh, of the cycle moves from a to a dash and the back wheel moves from b to b dash okay and the handle the c point moves from c to c dash and d to d dash but the uh, and all these distance between a to a a and a dash b to b dash c to c dash and d to d dash all these uh, distance between all these points are same okay thus this the motion of the cycle is tr uh, translatory motion okay because every point of this cycle moves equal distance in equal time now second example the motion of an apple falling from a tree the motion of a man walking on a road and the motion of a box when pushed from one corner of a room to other are examples of translatory motion okay because in uh, all these examples the uh, every point of the object moves equal distance in equal time but translatory motion uh, is also uh, classified into two types first one is rectilinear or linear motion and the second is curvilinear motion so what is rectilinear motion rectilinear or linear motion is when if the body uh, if is a motion of a body is along the straight line means if the motion of a body is along a straight line it is said to be a rect uh, rectilinear or linear motion means if the motion of a body is along a straight line for example uh, an apple falling from a tree okay when an apple is falling from a tree its motion is along a straight line okay so it this is the motion of this apple is rectilinear motion and also a ball falling from a height straight towards the surface of the earth a car moving on a straight road okay if a car is moving on a straight road then the motion of this car is also rectilinear now and a coin moving over a carrom board as shown in figure 2.3a here you can see the coins of this carrom board uh, moves in a straight line so the motion of this uh, these coins is also rectilinear motion okay so these are the examples of rectilinear motion now some other examples of rectilinear motion are the motion of a bullet fired from a gun okay so this is all the motion of this bullet is also rectilinear and march past of the soldier in a parade on a straight road okay so these are the examples of rectilinear motion now 
curvilinear motion if the motion of a body is along a curved path okay if the motion of a body is along a curved path then it is said to be curvilinear motion as you can see here a cyclist taking a turn on the road so its motion is curvilinear motion now a car moving along a curved path this is also curvilinear motion a ball thrown by a boy with some angle okay so this is also curvilinear motion so what is rectilinear motion rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion are first of all they are the types of translatory motion then rectilinear motion is uh, when the body is uh, moves along a a straight line then the motion of that body is rectilinear motion and if the body uh, if the motion of a body is along a curved path then that is said to be curvilinear motion now second one is rotatory motion a body is said to be in rotatory motion if it moves about a fixed axis for example the blades of a fan are spinning top are spinning wheel or potter's wheel a merry go round rotation of the earth about its uh, about its axis its own axis etc these are the examples of rotatory motion because in all these examples the body uh, moves about its own axis okay as you can see here in this example the spinning of a top on its axis this top is rotating about uh, around its own axis same way potter's wheel ceiling fan all these are examples of rotatory motion note a rotatory motion is different from translatory motion because in rotatory motion different parts of the object move through different distances during the same time the part of the body near to the axis of rotation travels a small dis smaller distance than the distant part of the body as you can see here when this fan rotates along its axis then the uh, then those points of this object of this fan uh, that is closer to the axis moves a smaller distance as compared to the distant parts of the body of this fan means the end this end of the uh, these ends of the blades move larger distance as compared to this part okay so this is how rotatory motion is different from translatory motion because different parts of the object move through different distances during the same time so this is rotatory motion now third type of motion is circular motion the motion of a body along a circular path is called circular motion means the motion of a uh, body along a circular path this is known as circular motion circular motion is a type of curvilinear motion it is a type of a special type of curvilinear motion in which the distance of a moving object from a fixed point distance of the moving object from a fixed point is same okay does not change as you can see here in this example this is a, a girl uh, this girl is wearing a stone tied at the end of a string in a circular path this is a stone that is tied to a string and this girl is wearing it so uh, the distance from the center okay the distance from the center uh, the distance uh, at any point around the, uh, along the circular path is same it does not change so this type of motion is known as circular motion now other examples of circular motion are the motion of a car around a circular path of the uh, path the motion of the hands of a clock as you can see here the distance is same and the motion uh, and the motion of the satellite around the sun this is also an example of circular motion remember in rotatory motion the axis of rotation passes through a point sorry passes from a point in the body itself whereas in the circular motion the axis of revolution passes through a point outside the body as you can see here here the axis of rotation was inside the body okay in the body itself but in case of circular motion the axis uh, of revolution passes from a point outside the body okay thus the motion of a satellite around the earth is a circular motion whereas the motion of the earth about its own axis is called uh, is a rotational motion now second in circular motion the distance of a point of the body from a fixed point always remains 
the same whereas it is not same in the curvilinear motion in curvilinear motion the distance uh, changes but in circular motion the distance of a point from the body from a fixed point as you can see here this is a fixed point and the distance remains same okay along the circular path so this is a difference between circular motion and curvilinear motion that the distance of a point from a body from the body from a fixed point always remains the same okay now the hour clock the hour hand of a clock takes 12 hours to complete a circular motion around the clock while the uh, minute hand takes 60 minutes to complete a circular motion around the clock the circular motion is thus periodic and repetitive circular motion of uh, clock is also uh, this circular motion is periodic and repetitive as well now fourth type of motion is oscillatory motion the to and fro motion of a body from its rest position or mean position is called the oscillatory motion for example the motion of the pendulum of a ball clock and the motion of a swing represent oscillatory motion means the to and fro motion of a body from its rest position is called oscillatory motion as you can see here in this example the pendulum moves to and fro about its mean position so this type of motion is known as oscillatory motion in this motion the bob of the pendulum from its rest position o moves one side a as you can see here from o to a then comes back to rest at o then again moves to other side to a uh, point b and then again comes back to its rest position o and this process is continuously repeated since the oscillatory motion is repetitive at a regular interval of time it is also considered as periodic motion okay because uh, this also uh, this uh, pendulum also this in this oscillatory motion this pendulum repeat itself after a regular interval of time so it is also considered as periodic motion now next one is vibratory motion it is also an oscillatory motion with the difference that in vibratory motion a part of the body always remains cons uh, remains fixed and the rest part, mo uh, part moves to and fro about its mean position as you can see here this part remains fixed and uh, and the, uh, this part moves to and fro about its mean position but during the vibratory motion the shape and size of the body changes for example in figure 2.9 you can see here a wire is stretched between two fixed rods a and b on a table as the wire is plugged and released from the middle it starts moving to and fro okay so this is a, this is an example of uh, vibratory motion another example is our vocal cords vibrate to produce sound when we speak or sing okay third one is the vibration of the membrane of a tabla when played on uh, is a common example of vibratory motion now fourth one is most of the musical instruments like guitar violin sitar etc have strings attached to them so as to execute vibratory motion when they are played so uh, these uh, uh, these strings of these uh, strings of these musical instruments vibrate and they cause vibratory motion now vibratory motion can be demonstrated by this activity you can see here this activity to demonstrate vibratory motion take a metallic strip as you can see here fix its one end o on the table thus o a is the rest position of the strip now lower the end a of the strip slightly and then release means just lower it by pushing it and then release it the strip will start vibrating from a to b then b to c and then c to a and so on okay so this is an example of vibratory motion okay understood what is vibratory motion now next type of motion is periodic motion now what is periodic motion a motion which gets repeated after a regular interval of time is called a periodic motion means the motion of a body which gets repeated after a regular interval of time that is known as periodic motion for example the revolution of earth 
about the sun the moon revolves around the earth and completes one revolution in nearly 27.3 uh, days and then repeats this motion okay then third one and a normal person's heart beats after uh, every beats every 0.8 seconds so this is also an example of periodic motion the pendulum of a wall clock repeats its motion after every 2 seconds so this is also an example of periodic motion now other examples of periodic motion are the motion of the needle of a sewing machine and the movement of the membrane of a tabla when played so these are also the examples of periodic motions because in all these examples uh, in all these examples the motion gets repeated after a regular interval of time now the next one is non periodic motion the next type of motion is non periodic motion the motion which does not repeat itself after a regular interval of time is called non periodic motion for example a footballer running on a field application of brakes in a moving vehicle a ball rolling down the ground gradually slows down and finally stops and the motion of tides in the sea so these are the examples of a uh, non periodic motion because they are not repeated after a regular interval of time now now this box do you know the motion of particles called molecules of a liquid or a gas is random zigzag or irregular because they do not take a specific path and specific direction of motion because the these particles move in any direction not uh, they do not follow any specific path or direction so such type of motion is known as zigzag motion Now next one is mixed motion. Sometimes a body can have more than one type of motion simultaneously. Such a motion is called mixed motion. Means when a body have uh, more than one type of motion, that is known as mixed motion. For example, the wheels of a moving vehicle, such as cycle, car, train, etc., have both translatory as well as rotatory motions uh, uh, as it moves from position A to position B while rotating. Means as these wheels uh, moves in a straight line so the uh, from a to b so it all it shows translatory motion and at the same time they rotate the wheels rotate therefore it also have rotatory motion now another example is a drill used by a carpenter have both rotatory as well as translatory motions as its tip move ahead inside the wood while rotating means uh, the in the in a drill machine uh, that it rotates as well as moves inside the wall inside the wood or inside any uh, thing so that is that uh, drill machine shows both the translatory as well as rotatory motion while rotating now the third example is a carpenter saw has translatory as well as oscillatory motion as it moves down while oscillating it's uh, this uh, this machine this saw is Uh, by uh, oscillating also and at the same time moving downward so it shows translatory motion also now the next example is a ball rolling on the ground has rotatory motion as well as translatory motion as it moves uh, on the ground means it rotates also and also it moves in uh, in uh, it moves also on the ground therefore it has translatory motion also now the fifth one is the earth rotates about it about its own axis that shows rotatory motion and at the same time it revolves around the sun in a, a curved path which shows curvilinear or circular motion in a fixed time interval that is periodic motion so uh, this is also an example of mixed motion now here activity third some examples of motion are given in the table ahead identify the types of motion okay so this is your homework here examples are given of motions you have to tell which type of motion uh, uh, are these okay so this is your homework you have to complete this table in homework you have to write that which type of motion are these so this is all for today you have to read all these type of motion yourself also so it will be more clear to you and further explanation of the lesson we will continue in our next video thank you